Hey guys, Adam here. Welcome to another uh, On the Couch. Uh, this week, uh, this week I'm going to be reviewing uh, a, a new Agents of Shield. Uh, ye who enter here. The plot is that uh, Coulson and the rest of Shield have to go and find the city, find this lost city, which a lot of people believe to be the city of the Inhumans. Uh, meanwhile, he splits the team the team up. One goes to the city, the other goes to find Reyna, the girl with the flower dress. Uh, meanwhile, Hydra is trying to look for both. It, I mean, this isn't the mid-season finale like I thought it would be, but uh, but it's still eventful to a degree. Um, <clears throat> uh, and I thought it was good. I thought this was really good. This is still gearing up to be a really, really good, um, really good uh, season. Um, and I'm, I'm just enjoying the utter living shit out of it. Um, the, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, um, uh, sorry, I got, I'm trying to rush this. Um, I mean, not. I mean, this. This is where a lot of uh, answer, a lot of uh, questions are answered. Uh, like, for instance, uh, who is? Uh, like, for instance, is Sky an alien? No, she's not. She is what people believe to be the Inhumans, uh, because they do mention the Kree in this. They they actually say the Kree came here and turned and exper and turned humans into uh, into special people. Um, also, it is confirmed that Reyna is one of them as well, although no powers have actually have exactly been displayed. So I'm curious as to what's going to happen there. Uh, and uh, and honestly, that's actually the best part of the show of the of this episode is is the Scott is the Sky Reyna scenes, and compare unlike the uh, Coulson scenes. The Coulson scenes, which is really the one, the one section where you're expecting it. Like they're just they just they spend the majority like trying to like about to enter it or enter the uh, enter the uh, city and something happens and a big action scene. And that's it. The sky sky is just the sky scenes are just action throughout, and it's and that's actually the best part about it. Because not only do we get that, but we also get answers uh, and some pretty good character development between uh, with a good, with a few of them. Also, there may be something going on between uh, Mac and uh, and Mockingbird, which um, which sounds interesting. So I'm I'm actually very curious about it. Um, uh, who knows? We don't know, but something's going. But something's definitely going on. Uh, also, we get like some good character development between uh, between Simon, uh, Fitz and Simmons. Like, just the character develop, uh, like little banter between those two. Like, I kind of, kind of like what I miss, but I understand why I miss that because I mean, you know, things change. Um. <clears throat> um also, um. Bleh. Okay. Also, uh. The, just the uh, just the uh, the fight scenes are really good. Sky is, re I mean, Sky is really just kicking ass this time around. Like unlike she did before, but she's re she was able to hold her own against uh, Agent Thirty Three. You know the uh, the Hyd the brainwashed Hydra agent that fought May in the sexy outfits. Just. Uh. <laughs> Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, she fights her, uh, and for whatever reason, uh, when uh, May fought Agent Thirty Three, Agent Thirty Three still had like the uh, May uh, mask uh, mask on, and when May had electrocuted her, it seemed to have fused the mask on her face to where she can't get rid of it now. So, but like you know, it's not her because of the uh, scarring on over her eye, uh, which, which warranted, which warranted uh, Lance uh, to say, "What the hell is that thing?" I'm thinking, you know what? I would probably say that too. 
Um, I really do. I really like that. I like it's kind of like an old school uh, henchman that returns from a fight for a rematch. Um, I really do like that. Um, I'm trying to think now. Um, also, uh, but yeah, I mean that's the best part is definitely uh, trying to uh, shield extracting Reyna from Hydra. Whereas, um, whereas the Coulson section just really wasn't, it was just mostly character. That's it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I was expecting a little more than what they gave us. And we didn't really get to see a lot of action until the end, which I won't spoil. Um, uh, but also, I gotta say, I love Patton Oswalt. I love him as, as the Keening brothers. They're awesome. Uh, they make some good jokes. Uh, they're, they're basically the fanboys of... Uh, they're us, basically. They're us. They're, we're, he's the fan... He, he plays the fanboys of S.H.I.E.L.D. He's, he's just... He's us, and it's great. Just the banter between him with himself is great. Uh, there's a scene where he's... Where he's talking to... Um, uh, I think it was Sky or Coulson. I can't remember. Uh, and even though I just watched it today. And he goes... And he's and uh, and it's one of the Keenings, uh, Agent Keenings, while his voice, his other, his brother is in the background, is still Pat Oswalt, and they're just going off, and they're just playing off. He's just playing off himself, just going. It's like, just going. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, it was so bad ass. It's like, God, Sam. It's like you're such a. You're like, a, what are you, thirteen? And it's just great. And they, and of course, they're all, they're playing. And of course, they are aware of the joke of the fact that there's more than one of them, and it's kind of freaking every. And it's it's freaking a, it's a little freaky towards everyone else. They even ask, "Is like, uh, uh, Trip is even asked, is like, how many of you are there?" And they go thirteen. <laughs> gotcha, buddy. And Trip is like, uh huh, yeah, yeah, uh huh. Um, and of course Ward comes back, uh, not, not back to S.H.I.E.L.D., he comes back to get Reyna and all this and that happens. Uh, and we leave, uh, leave on a cliffhanger, a very, very scary cliffhanger, and I'm curious about that. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to next week's episode, which will be the mid-season finale, which means, um... Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, next week will also be Flash's midseason, and um, uh, and yeah, that's that's it. Because yeah, that's it. Uh, but anyway, uh, but I'll I'll um, I'll get I'll go into more of that uh, later. Uh, but yeah, this was really good. I really like this episode. It's just everything about it just felt. Despite the Coulson portion, I felt like everything else was per was paced very well. Um, not saying the Coulson portions are bad, but I just felt like there could have been a little more balance between those two. Um, uh, because I mean, really, this was just a tease with the city, uh, which we'll hopefully see next week. Um, uh, I, I'm really looking forward to that. I really want to see what happens next. Uh, but we do get confirmation of, poss of possible Inhumans. Uh, we, we get confirmation that Reyna is an Inhuman. Uh, we get confirmation that Sky is an Inhuman, not an alien. And I'm actually happy about that. Um, I'm just really, really looking forward to a lot more um, next week. And I hope, and I, I really hope they deliver because the last mid season finale, I, it got me to realize, Oh, this is, this has potential. This is going to be, this, this is turning to become, this is starting to become really good, but I still felt a little underwhelmed by it. Whereas, uh, this, whereas I'm hoping next week will be really, really good. Uh, final score for this week. I give an eight out of 10. I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was very well done. Uh, Sky's scene, uh, the Sky section was uh, well paced. Coulson's not so much, but it's still very good, especially in terms of a character between uh, Coulson and Mockingbird. Uh, I thought I thought their uh, their dialogue was very well done. Uh, 
Fitz and Simmons dialogue, excellent as always. Uh, and of course, I and of course, I'm growing to love Mac. Uh, always have. Now, I wish they would get more development with Trip, uh, which who I believe deserves even more than a little more respect than he's been given on this show, uh, especially last season. Um, but yeah, uh, also, um, yeah, I definitely, um, I've definitely uh, been doing a lot of TV shows and no movies. Why is that? Because I have no job, I have no money, but I will try and change that around as soon as possible because The Hobbit is out in two weeks. So uh, I will be doing uh, my rewinds for The Hobbit uh, for the first two Hobbit movies uh, next week. Um, so, um, so there will be that, and I will give my reviews of that. Uh, now, I'm not, now, I'm not exactly saying I'm going to do The Hobbit um, on opening night. I'm going to try. I will try. But I, I make no promises on that. But I will do it before Christmas. Uh, uh, and uh, if not, then I will definitely do it on Christmas. All right. So, uh, also plans on um, on uh, TV schedules. Uh, like I said, uh, um, uh, next week will be the fall finale uh, or the winter finale of Shield. Uh, it will also be the winter finale for Flash. Uh, I may even I may even do a fall finale for uh, Arrow just just because. Excuse me, just because. Um, also, the fall finale for um, for Gotham was uh, last week, uh, so I don't have to do that now. Um, and uh, depending, I may pick back up on Constantine and Star Wars Rebels, uh, uh, or I may or I may uh, do recap, do quick review, crash course reviews for the episodes that I didn't review since I don't have anything else to do since the semester's almost over with. So I'll definitely be doing that. And uh, January 9th will be the uh, two hour premiere of Agent Carter. And I will start doing those until, uh, which will be an eight episode event. So by the time that ends, uh, we'll get Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So look forward to uh, when Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Come back, comes back. And I'm really looking forward to Agent Carter I am because I am I, I'm a fan of like 1940s uh, spy uh, adventure show serial shows you know like I'm I'm a huge fan of the Shadow I'm a fan of the Phantom uh, I love the Rocketeer even though the comic book is was from the 80s I still love it because it's an homage to to those uh, to those pulp shows and like I said I I, I, I absolutely adore. Um, the Captain America, the first Avenger, which made, cemented my love for Peggy Carter. So when they said that it was going to be a TV show for it, I was, I was excited. I'm really hoping this is, this, this, uh, this makes me have, uh, this really, uh, really makes me want to watch more. Uh, I mean, the promos I've seen, not great, but I'm, uh, but not bad either. I'm really looking forward to them. Uh, so uh, I will see you guys next time uh, when uh, I review Arrow. So and so I will see you guys later, and uh, y'all have yourselves a wonderful evening. And bye.